and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Crop Dusters. At dawn, Clutch and Company take off in the plane headed for the southern plantation of an old friend, Colonel Greenleaf Julep. The Colonel's been losing his cotton crop because of an unusual amount of bugs. That's why we're going. You mean we're in the crop dusting business? That's what it amounts to, Splinter. We're the first crop dusters in this area. Oh. <laughs> we shouldn't have mentioned dust. That makes Paddlefoot sneeze. That's why I brought along those masks. Look below, Spinner. That's Colonel Julep's plantation. Golly, he sure has got a lot of land. About 500 acres, all in cotton, except that pasture where we land. Uh oh, Clutch, there's a girl out there. That's Melissa Bell, the Colonel's daughter. Hi, y'all. Hi, yourself. Is the Colonel around? He's across the road. I'm awful worried, Mr. Cargo. My daddy, the Colonel, says if we have one more crop failure, we'll lose our old plantation. Mr. Hanson holds the mortgage. And unless we pay it, he gets our house and land. Spinner, Paddlefoot, and I are going to do our best to save your crop for you. Bless you, Clutch. You're always ready to help. Hello, Colonel. Looks like you're in trouble. Smallest crop of cotton and the biggest crop of bugs I ever saw. Which means we've got work to do. So we'll get started right away. How do we get into town? Oh, I'll take you. In our pickup truck. Good. Come on, Spinner, Paddlefoot. Let's go. Mr. Hanson says if I marry him, he'll tear up the mortgage. That's no good. If you marry him, he'll have you and the plantation, too. I don't want to marry him. But maybe that's the only thing to do. Not yet, it isn't. We're here to help. Give us a chance. Mr. Hanson owns all the land surrounding us, except one little corner owned by Jed McCracken. How is Mr. Hanson's cotton crop? Beautiful. Not a bug on his cotton anywhere. That's strange. His crop's so close to yours. Well, here we are, Clutch. You wait in the truck. We won't take a minute. May I help you, sir? I need some crop dusting compound. Hanson has the best, right over here. We're going to dust Colonel Julep's cotton crop. Whose crop did you say? Colonel Julep's. Well, in that case, you want nothing but the best. I insist you take our triple A super bug killer. I use it on my own crop. You recommend that is the best? Without hesitation. Hi, <laughs> what a friendly dog. Yeah, if he likes you. We'll take a dozen sacks, mister, and hurry it up. We've got a dusting job to do. Clutch and company are soon back at the plantation and have completed preparations to try out the special dusting compound. See that your masks are adjusted tight, Spinner. We wouldn't want to breathe any of that stuff. We're all set, Clutch. Okay, release the lever, Spinner. Here she goes. and company make pass after pass up and down the rolls of cotton until they reach the final row. Clutch! Wires strung between those trees! Hold on. It looks like a crash. How can Clutch and company avoid crashing into that wire? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Crop Dusters. You remember last time Clutch and Company arrived at Colonel Greenleaf Julep's cotton plantation to find the crops being destroyed. In an effort to help the Colonel, they dust his crops. After finishing, they prepare to land. Clutch! Wires strung between those trees! Brace yourself, Spinner. I'm going to mush under. For sure we were gone at that time. Me too. Pop out and we'll look for a way to fly out of here. <sighs> Not much chance. These stumps are right in the way. Well, we got in here. I guess... Watch! We're trapped! Hey, what the... I'll teach you insects to tackle my crop. I'll get rid of every last one of you while... Stop! Don't do that! Huh? 
A bug talking? Bugs nothing. Well, bless my buttons. I'm sure sorry. I thought I'd caught a couple of giant bugs. Well, you can see we're not bugs. Why, of course I can. I almost run this pitchfork clean through you. So your crops are bothered, too. Why, them bugs been invading my land from the Colonel South 40. Did I hear my name? I saw your plane come down, Clutch Boy. Are you all okay? We had to mush in, but we're okay, Colonel. Yeah, then we got trapped by this net. Well, just as true as my name's Jed McCracken, I didn't know I'd trapped anything human. Jed McCracken, this here's Clutch Cargo and Company. They've come to help me get rid of the insects. In that case, I've got something in the barn to show you. That sure is a whopper, all right. Biggest bug I ever saw. Wow! Looks like a big ladybug. Golly, she's as big as you, Paddlefoot. If you think that's big, you ought to see the ones that got away. You mean you've seen more like this? A whole flock of them buzzed my house the other night. That's why I strung up the wires and set that net. Well, you can see it's no ordinary insect. By golly, we've got to find out where they're coming from. That's right, Clutch. When bugs start growing that big, we are in real trouble. Meanwhile, in the back room in Hanson's store, good work, Bob, we're gaining on the Colonel's mortgage. Oh, yeah. Pretty soon the plantation and Miss Melissa will be yours, huh? Right. One more crop failure for the Colonel, and he'll never have enough to pay the mortgage. Then Hanson steps in and marries Melissa. And put that thing down. Oh, now you've hurt her feelings. Don't call my little friends things. They don't like you. I'm sorry, Bob, but they give me the creeps. Still, oh, all right. We forgive you, Mr. Hanson. Don't we, Violin? Have you loaded the surplus flying jeep like I told you? Yes, Mr. Hanson. There it is. Now, back, loaded with thousands of my newest bug creations. The half bull weevils and half lightning bugs. The lightning bugs light up and show the bull weevils where to eat. Very clever, Bob. Mr. Clutch Cargo is going to get a big surprise. When he came to the store for bug poison, I sold him bug vitamins. He sprayed the bug vitamins on the colonel's crop. Now we'll spray on the bugs. What a terrible thing to do. How will it affect the colonel's crop? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, the Crop Dusters. You remember last time, Clutch and company sprayed bug vitamins on the crops instead of bug poison. Mr. Hanson and Bob were on their way to the plantation to release thousands of bugs on the Colonel's crops. We'll stay just above the crop while we spray them with your bugs, Bob. Mr. Cargo don't know how much he helped us when he sprayed the crops with bug vitamins. Mr. Hanson, we better get out of here. Why, will they be surprised in the morning when they find the crops all chewed up? That stuff we sprayed on the Colonel's crops didn't seem to do much good. They sure don't look any better. If anything, they look worse. <laughs> look! Paddlefoot's cornered something. I'll say he has. It's a giant bug. And from the size of it, I'd say it almost cornered Paddlefoot. Thousands of bugs eating the crops. We've got to do something. We've got to get stronger bug poison and spray again as soon as possible. We'll take the pickup and go into town. I'll get Jed and we'll have your plane ready by the time you get back. That's a good idea. Let's go, Spinner. Clutch and company head for Hanson's store. It's strange, Spinner. We spray the Colonel's crops with Hanson's bug eradicator, and instead of killing the bugs, it appears to make them stronger. Yeah, with bugs that size, it wouldn't take long to destroy all the crops. 
Pop. Maybe Mr. Hanson has a stronger voice. I sure hope so, Clutch. Uh-oh. Here comes Cargo and that kid again. Get into the back room and start mixing dusting compound, Bob. Uh, shall I make it extra strong, boss? Sure. Go heavy on the appetizer and don't forget to add plenty of bug vitamins. The uh, sure thing, boss. Good morning, Mr. Cargo. What can I do for you this time? About that dusting compound you sold me yesterday. It did more harm than good. The Colonel's crops are still overrun with bugs. Bigger bugs than before. I thought maybe you'd have some stronger bug killer. I do, I do. You must try some of my special mix Super Surefire Triple X Bug Eradicator. May I examine a bag of it? Why, certainly, certainly. Oh, Bob, bring out a bag of that Triple X. Uh, coming up, Mr. Hanson. Thanks. I just want to make sure it'll do the job. I'll try a little on this bug I brought along. Here, Spinner. Hold the jar. Okay, Clutch. Look, Clutch. He likes it. He sure does. He ate it all up and looking for more. It isn't affecting him a bit. Look, mister, are you sure... They're gone. Those two are up to something. And I'm going to find out what it is. But first, we've got to take care of those bugs. Come, Spinner. Let's drive over to Centerville and pick up some real dusting compound. That clutch character is wising up. We better do something, but quick. Uh, why not use plan B-U-G number two? That's not a bad idea, Bob. Cargo is liable to use real bug killer from here on. But that won't harm old B-U-G number two, none. Oh, no. What manner of giant bug can this be? <laughs> be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Crop Dusters. You remember last time, Clutch and company tested Hanson's special mixed Super Surefire Triple X Bug Eradicator on a tiny bug. The bug liked it. When Clutch tried to find Mr. Hanson and Bob, they had disappeared, but only to release Beastie Bug Number Two. He sounds hungry enough to eat up a whole plantation without stopping. No, I thought you might be needing him, so I haven't fed him for three days, Mr. Hanson. Good boy, Bob. Now let's tow old number two out to the colonel's plantation and turn him loose. Clutch and company find real bug-killing dusting compound in Centerville and lose no time getting back to the plantation. Good hunt, Clutch boy. Okay, Spinner. Release the spray. Darn that old clutch cargo. He's killing off all my beautiful bugs. We'll fix him, Bob. Go release Beastie number two. Yeah, that'll fix him. I raised Beastie on bug killer. How are we doing, Spinner? Fine, Clutch. This new stuff sure does the job. <laughs> Uh, stand back, Mr. Hanson. Here goes. How's our spray holding out, Spinner? Just about enough for two more passes, Clutch. Good. That'll do it. Sure is working this time. Those bugs are dropping like flies. Isn't Clutch wonderful? The hungry giant boll weevil soon finds Colonel Julep's field. That boy, look at old beastie bug go. Here comes Cargo back on his last run. Now we'll see some fun. Almost finished, Clutch. of which I've never seen before. That spray doesn't affect him at all, Clutch. We'll give him an extra dose. Hang on. Here goes. He didn't faze him, Clutch. He's still eating away. We'll try and scare him off. What's happening out there? Looks like they spotted something. 
His clutch plum loco, he's going into a dive. like we've got a real bug fight on our hands. Watch, he's getting closer! Watch, he's right on our tail! I know it. I'm trying to shake him. <laughs> Clutch! The ground! That giant bug swooping at Clutch's plane and Clutch diving at the ground. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Crop Duster. You remember last time, Clutch and company started dusting with a real bug poison. Mr. Hanson and Bob had released Beastie Bug Number Two. The dusting spray wouldn't phase Beastie. Instead, the bug started into the air after Clutch and Company. There seemed to be no way for Clutch to shake the giant from the tail of his plane. Then suddenly, Clutch! That Clutch cargo is some smart flyer. He power dived that bow weevil right into my barbed wire bug trap. Good work, Clutch Boy. Thanks, Colonel. For a minute there, I, I thought we wouldn't make it. You all must be plum took it out. Come on in, I'll make you all some sassafras tea. Boo hoo 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 hoo. That old Clutch cargo bumped off my beastie bug. <laughs> there, there. Don't take it so hard. We're not finished yet. We'll turn loose beastie number one. Oh, no, not beastie number one. Yes, beastie number one. That way we can take care of cargo and get the plantation, too. Boo, boo. Quiet. Come on, let's go. Open her up. Trump card, your deadly giant polka dot caterpillar. I just hope after he eats up the colonel's plantation, he don't turn on us, cause he's mighty hungry. Look at him go. Thanks for the tea, Miss Belissey. Well, guess our work here is finished. And thanks for the crumpet, too. What? <laughs> Quick, into the plane. We'll stop him. The rest of you head for the storm cellar. I'm afraid. Quick, Colonel. Which way to the storm cellar? Clutch and Spinner rush to the plane to stop the horrible caterpillar. Where's Melissa? Well, I thought she was right behind us. <laughs> Melissa, honey. Over this way, child. <laughs> Only one thing to do. Ram it. He got him. What got the giant bug? Hooray! He saved Melissa. But he's wrecked his plane, doing it. We did it, Clutch. And the big bug track lead right into that red barn. Hang on. We're going to crash land right in front of it. Uh-oh, we're trapped. Clutch Cargo is coming after us. That ought to hold him till the sheriff gets here. Uh, I know we shouldn't have fooled with Clutch Cargo. Oh, Clutch, how can we ever repay you for ridding our plantation of those dreadful critters? And that includes those two creepy varmints, Hanson and Bob. We're glad to oblige, Miss Felicity. If they ever come back, be sure and let me know. If they ever do, I got me a sure-fire bug eradicator this time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the Crop Dusters. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.